In the beginning of the F122 season, I predicted that Charles Leclerc would be a championship winner. Now 10 races into the championship, I feel like that's going to be impossible. And it has absolutely nothing to do with Charles Leclerc's driving ability or his pace. Ferrari just don't know how to handle a championship winning car. And they haven't since Kimi. Kimi won the championship in 2007 by one point. And they won the constructors title in 2008. Ever since, there's been nothing. They've come close with Alonso in 2010 and 2012. They have gone close with Vettel, notably in 2017 and 2018. And all of those times they bottle it the same way with extremely, extremely bad pitfall strategies and a pure inability of handling uh, the driver dynamics between the two drivers that race for them. So far this season, Charles has been on average two to three tenths faster than Sainz. Yet, he is prioritized in some races where Charles has, cho has shown that he is faster. If we look back to Silverstone that just happened uh, a couple days ago, with a broken front wing and in dirty air, Charles was faster than Sainz, who had to plead with his team to let him go by so that he can create a gap big enough to secure himself not being undercut by Lewis Hamilton, who was flying behind them, putting in fastest lap after fastest lap. Ferrari takes a long time to make decisions, and they give Sainz an ultimatum. Either you put in this time, or we have to invert the cars. Now, they gave him that, and he couldn't. He did it for one lap, and then the pace fell off. And they still took a long time before they inverted the cars. After the race, or not after the race, after some time in the race, Verstappen is out of podium contention. He's driving a severely damaged car and he's looking to score just a few points here is ferrari's opportunity to claw back into the driver's championship and to secure themselves a one two if they let leclerc go past signs and create some margin they are then able at the safety car to double stack their cars and come out ahead of lewis hamilton both Ferrari cars had more pace on average than the Mercedes cars, or the Mercedes car, because Russell never uh, raced uh, in Silverstone, unfortunately. Instead, they chose to leave Leclerc out, who is their number one driver. And I think even though they, they will say that they don't have number one and number two is pretty clear to everyone this season who the number one is in Ferrari. They leave Leclerc out on old hard tires with a broken front wing and they pit signs and they force Lewis Hamilton to pit with them. They come out ahead and then they ask signs who in that moment is the lead driver because he is on fresh softs, no damage and is gonna fly past Charles even though Charles was faster in, in, in that race. They ask uh, Carlos to leave 10 car lengths to Leclerc to sort of protect him from uh, the rest of the pack. Now Sainz who's after his first win is never gonna do that and the fact that they even ask him to do that just shows you that they, they have no idea of how to balance the dynamic between their two drivers and they have no idea on how how to force other teams to react to their strategy they only react to other teams strategy i don't think charles can win this year anymore with ferrari 
I think they have been very inconsistent in how they plan their races. I think even though they have by far the best qualifying car uh, in the races, it's just not enough. I hope Leclerc can turn this around and at least fight a bit uh, with Max going uh, into the last 13 races here, or 12 I think it is, but he needs to do what Carlos uh, does and he needs to make his own strategy. If the team is not decisive enough, is if they are not doing what's best for him at that point, I think he should disobey where he can disobey. Because Red Bull and Mercedes don't do this. I've never seen an indecisive Red Bull strategy over the last few years. I've never seen that from Mercedes as well. Perhaps with Bottas, uh, but only to aid Lewis uh, has that happened. Leclerc can still win this, but it needs to be on his own, which is a shame because Verstappen and Perez and George and Lewis have their team behind them, but Charles Leclerc doesn't. We will see what's going to happen in Austria. It should be a track that suits uh, the Red Bull car. A lot of straights, uh, not that many corners, but Ferrari needs to do something. They cannot bottle this again the same way that they did uh, with Vettel. Anyways, that's it for this short summary or this short complaint video about Ferrari. I hope they can turn it around and give us a more exciting season. Just as exciting as the last few laps of Silverstone. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.